Greetings, brother. Yeah, blessings, blessings, yeah, man. Yeah, man, yeah, man. So, um, what, what do I call? Winston Jones. Winston Jones. Yeah, man, I'm part of the cricketing community. Most of everybody know me. Man. Yeah, Winston Jones. Yeah, man. All right. right. So, you say you used to play cricket? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, big in the team. Yeah, man, yeah, man. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Yeah, cooler, man. Hey, so, um, so was you born in the UK? No, I was born in Jamaica. You was born in Jamaica? Yeah, came here in the 70s. Oh, you came here in the 70s? Yeah. Okay, your mum and your dad are just, I'm um, just, um, uh, mom and dad, mom and dad. Mom and dad, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, so, so tell us a, little, a bit more about yourself. Um, um. Yeah, so like I'm saying, like I was saying to you, yeah. I just jump straight into it. Yeah. Um, yeah, in 2005, I went to, went to Jamaica on holiday. Yeah. And, um, when I tried when I tried to come back, they stopped me. <laughs> yeah, they basically said something missing from a passport. So you think you're what they're talking about? Yeah, about what they're talking about. You know what I mean? I've been doing this for years. You know what I mean? I've been doing this for years, but somehow they decided to jump on me. So wow. uh, yeah, so uh, they said I need to go over to the British Embassy mm -hmm. and get a res uh, returning resident visa to come back. Yeah. Yeah, so so that took you off your flight. That took me off my flight. Yeah, yeah, and then you have to go back home in Jamaica. Yeah, and then that probably take you a couple of days now to no, go a couple of weeks to 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 go to the yeah that, yeah it was two weeks before I could get an appointment. Yeah, and then when you finally get the appointment, um, how did that went? Well, I went over there and I had my driver's license. I was a manager for Sainsbury's in London. I, you know, working for you know the manager at one of Sainsbury's flagship store. So I had some pay slips in me, and yeah, I showed them that and. Throw it at me, say, criminal of those, what have you got? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, 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 so just a little holiday turned into a nightmare. Yeah, so oh. basically said to me, well, you can't, you know, you, got, you, need, you can reapply mm -hmm. and come back. So I reapplied, two weeks later, I come back, have a few more things. And they said to me, they asked me all the same questions, but they're very smart people. You know, because, but they asked you, um, close questions. So the only question, the only answer you can give to the question they ask you is yes or no. No, yes. You know, and if you try, if you try to um, to elaborate, yeah, they just shut you down. Yeah, I didn't ask you that. Yeah, you know. So anyway, they they tell me to go and sit down. Then they call me and said, "Stop my passport. Your, your visa has been denied, and I couldn't come back for six months. So I'm wow. stuck in Jamaica for six months. Nowhere to live. Nothing. Holiday, holiday money done." Six months. Six months, yeah. I couldn't go couldn't go back for six months. So 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 how long did you spend in Jamaica? Just six months or, or did they No, um... I spent ten years. Ten years eventually. So so what so how did the six months turn into ten years? Well well I went back in six months' time and they turned me down again. Oh. Yeah. So you went back to the embassy in yeah. six months' time. Yeah, and they turned me down and again. And they turned you down again. Because yeah. they told you you couldn't come back until six months. Oh, yeah. I get what you're saying now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Couldn't reapply. So, so what, was, what was you going through now as a person who like, lived in the UK for, you know, for how many years, used to the lifestyle? And obviously, you're still used to back home, but I'm saying like, it's a different... No, it was rough, man. That's what I'm saying, yeah? It was rough, man. It was rough, you know? Um, you know if, Not prepared. If, Mentally or physically not prepared. Um, no, you wasn't. You wasn't because all I have is one suitcase. Wow. You know what I mean? I just have a, a one suitcase with holiday clothes. Wow. You know? Um, yeah, man. No, it's some rough, some rough time. It's a rough time to reach for man. Yeah. Are your family them here must be thinking what the heck is going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. But but I'm I'm gonna you know what I mean I'm gonna say you know big up to the cricket community because. Yeah. You know what I mean? My, my brethren, they helped me out, man. Yes, they make yeah. sure they have your back. Yeah, man, my brethren have my back. Yeah, for so 10 they, years. Yeah, yeah, and, you know. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. my children, you know, my children. Your children, yeah, yeah dear children, for you as well. Yeah, my children, they did the yeah. thing, man. It's, 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 but, um, so you say um, you're going to write a book anyway, yeah, so yeah, you know yeah. you're not going to elaborate. I don't, I don't want to don't wanna say too much. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly, yeah, and that's much. why I said that, yeah, yeah. Mm. But, um, but it's a good, um, but just a quick, like, um... What 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 was going through your mind? Um, did it ever thought you'd come back to the UK, or did you did you? Did you? Yeah, I knew I'd done nothing wrong, so I knew I'd always I always thought I was gonna come back. I know, but when would six months turn into a year, and then a year turned into two, and then did you actually find a job down there or anything like that? Or? No, no, no. I, I, before I answer that, I, mm -hmm. I'll tell you this: mm -hmm. it's when it turned into two that it got dangerous, because after two years, yeah, I basically lost my right to return. Bloody hell. Yeah. You lose your right to, to, to after two years, so um, yeah, you know. Um, you know it's a, it it sounds like it's just a catch twenty two, like all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Wow, yeah. I've seen people. Um, 
on the, on the internet and I've, I've, I've read stories, but mm. I never thought that I would actually met someone <coughs> who actually, you know, been through, you mm. know, the, the whole Winrush uh, um, situation, mm. the whole Winrush scandal, you know? Yeah. Right. So, 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 the, so the question you asked me now, did mm. I get the job? Yeah. Absolutely not. Because there was nobody, from your English accent, nobody going to give you a job. You don't need it. Oh. I'm a qualified chef. I'm a big chef. So they say you don't need a job. I don't need a job. Because you're an Englishman. Yeah. You got money. You got money. So yeah, you don't. automatically, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's all Jamaican. Yeah. So eventually, eventually, um, I started to do um, volunteer work. Okay, which is good. Yeah. Um, mm. You know, because back in the community, it was, was, yeah. there was a lot of kids who weren't doing well at school. And, yeah. you know, people said they don't and things like that. Because there are things like... Um, they, they don't understand learning difficulties. Okay. You know, it could it could be it could be that they can't see the board. Yeah, yeah. Or, you know, what, whatever else it could be. In Jamaica, we blame everything. Said so the kid is rude. Yes, so, yeah. yes, they're rude and they don't. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So I took on this kid and and, and this, this child, and I started going into the school and sitting. in The teacher, actually, uh, you know, actually allowed me to sit in in the classroom. Wow. And then it got more and more and more involved. Yeah. It got more and more involved. Yeah. Mm. Um. Then. I got involved in the police youth club, mm. so I was going around, you know, uh, motivating kids and yes, yes. helping to run the youth club and things like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But you could say your time there was like proper, um, you know what I mean, used really, cause like it was needed there. Yeah, it was. Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. Everything is for a reason, you know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. God not nah, sleep. Yeah, right. yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So eventually, um, jumping. Yeah. To, you know, like. Uh, when it was time to come, somebody told my daughter here because my daughter was fighting for me. Yeah, and somebody told her um, to try and get me back on a, uh, a tourist visa. Yeah, and of course, with all the charity work that I was doing, yes, it was easy to get one. Okay, yeah, because you know I had lots of people. Who, yes, oh yeah, was connected. Yeah, yeah, who spoke highly. Yeah, yes, yes. You know, and gave me recommendation. Yeah, and, yes, yeah. So I went and I, and I got a. Tourist visa, and I came back on a tourist visa. So that was after 10 years? Yeah, in 2015, I came back on a tourist visa. So <laughs> what was that like, like landing back in the UK as a tourist in a your own place? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was weird. It was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a weird one, really. It was, yeah, but it was yeah. a happy one to see the it family was, and yeah, everyone. It was a happy one to see the family, but... Yeah. You, you know, but it's one of these where... I just... I, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. There's a point when I thought, well, yeah, about now, I mean... I knew I weren't going back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I knew I weren't going back. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't have to send me back. Yeah, I don't know how it's going to work, but I knew I, knew I weren't going back. I come here and I didn't go back. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I went, yeah, I knew I went going so, so, Yeah, so how long was it here before um, you finally hear about the whole, you know, starting out of the... Yeah, well, let me tell you this. <laughs> well, even, even when I heard about the Windrush scheme, mm -hmm. but by this, I was going to lawyers. Mm -hmm. I was going to lawyers. All they do is taking my money. Trying to sort yourself out. Yeah, telling them, look, mm -hmm. I was a victim, you know what I mean? I yeah. wasn't meant to be, you know, that weren't meant to happen to me. And that's thousands of pounds. Yes, yeah. and, and all they keep saying to me is, well, look... Can't do anything for you, you know. You have to go to Jamaica and reapply. I'm thinking that ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> that way it's happening. Yeah. Um, well, so you see what happened to you now, yeah. I don't cut you because we're just trying to make fun of because I know you're yeah. not really trying to tell us the full, you know what I mean? Mm. And I don't really want to, but we're just trying to. You see, as a person now, I'll tell you this now, as an immigrant who came to this country, yeah. yeah? Now, there was time when I was illegal, yeah, and um, I woke up and um, now I dream. That I was in Jamaica. Yes. No, I know that I was in the UK. Yes. But in my mind, I don't want to be in Jamaica. So that dream has become a nightmare now because you want to wake up out that dream to make sure that you are still in the UK. I, I had those dreams. I had those dreams. I had those dreams. I had dreams where, when, when is it, when is it not dreams, the nightmares. Nightmares, where, yeah. Where I woke up yeah. just as the plane landed. Oh, my And then I jumped out my sleep. Oh. <laughs> and, and I had that in Jamaica as well. Because... I was dreaming so much about coming back home. Yes. That I was having dreams that I got through. Of course, man. And I board the plane. <laughs> and then it worked the other way around. I when you wake up, I... you wake up in Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, wait... <laughs> I'm waiting for the plane to land. It wouldn't. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, you know what, though? No. 
people who have been through this situation will never, never understand. understand. Because before that, probably you'd see someone in like an immigration situation and you probably think, oh, you know, it's, it's just a normal situation. Yeah. But it's, it's not a normal it's not situation. Normal. It's a very expensive, it's very um, de um, depressing because you have to be worrying about immigration, yeah. worrying about all these things. Yeah. And yet still people in Jamaica think it's easy. Listen, man. You, you need your bed sleep, you hear a knock on the door. Yeah. And listen, man, you have your hiding place sorted out already. Yeah. <laughs> because I, you swear it's immigration knocking. Yo, listen, yeah. I remember I went to work and my mate got taken out, yeah. yeah. By the um, uh, um no, his missus called um police on oh. him and reported him in work. No, it was four of us there that was illegal. Wow. Now he ran, but I couldn't because if I run a car, come back. That's <laughs> 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 what I said. You know what? No one challenged me, and that's not my issue. So I kind of just stayed away and stay out at the limelight and thinking, yo, you know what? If anything, and I see the police, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but. I'm just hoping that the police don't come. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it was mad. I got that guy a, a, um, a birth certificate, um, certificate yeah. an African birth certificate yeah. by the name of Musa Kaliba. <laughs> I paid 50 pounds for him. <laughs> I got him a job in the next agency where I used to be with the agency because I start um, for, um, um, dating yeah. someone that was... Um, in the agency. Okay. Uh -uh. <laughs> so it gave me yeah, leverage. Yeah. So I, I was getting jobs every day. Yeah. <laughs> I was working. Like I was never out of a job. Yeah. So my mate now, you needed something. So I've gone and buying the bird service to get 50 pounds. Says, yo, listen, go and give it to her and um, she'll take you in. And then that's how he started working. Yeah. Yeah. And he was on a wagon being a wagon's mate for, for like for, for time, you know mm. what I mean? But people don't, for, people don't understand what this you know the way, is. You know the weird thing though? <laughs> <laughs> the weird thing was, yeah, um, years before that, I was managing a company in London. Yeah. And we got raided by immigration. Mm -hmm. You know? And they, they had everybody in a, in a warehouse. Yeah. And I, and I was the one who would come and even the, even the, the, the directors. Yeah. And I was, I was on my day off. And I was the one who, who came in to phone me and tell me that there's immigration raid. Yeah. I drove up. Yeah. I got, got in the car park surrounded by police. Not knowing it was illegal. No, no, it wasn't illegal. No, no, I wasn't. I wasn't well. No, I know. Technically, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before yeah. all these. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got out of my car mm -hmm. and the policeman said to you, said to me, <laughs> have, you, have you got your passport? And I would, you know what I mean? I would, you, when you know, when you know, when you know, when you know you're in a good place. Exactly. I just, I just yeah. turned to him and said, have you got yours? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so he didn't bother with me. Yeah. And I was the one yeah. who, who had to go in and... Negotiate the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. And then to find myself five years later in, in, in the same oh position. Oh, my God. Man. It's, it's not an easy situation. No. So anyway, so mm -hmm. um, like later on, I met uh, another, yet another solicitor mm -hmm. who says to me, he said, no, man, this is rubbish. He said, we're going we're gonna to take this to the European Court of Human Rights. Mm -hmm. Which is and, where it should go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, and nobody else wouldn't, everybody else tell me, you need to go back to Jamaica. This guy said, no. We're going to the European Court of Human Rights. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm like, right, okay, let's go. You know what I mean? Because I've got like 10 grandchildren. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've got all the children here. <laughs> 10 grandchildren. Born here as well. But, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Don't make sense. Don't make no sense. Anyway, so when the guy hit me with the bill, I just thought, nah, man, I'm, I, I, need, I, need, I need to go back on the ground. <laughs> He's like, I couldn't afford the money to my daughter. <laughs> and it's not a guarantee. It's not a guarantee. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because I get, I paid him a hefty deposit already. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And then when he wants the rest, I'm like, yeah. I, I, I just thought, no, I ain't doing it. Yeah. I, I had one solicitor. He took two two thousand five hundred off me yeah. for his fee. And then um, he said to me, oh, Mr. Blackwood, um, I'm sorry to turn your, your visa down because um, X and Y and Z. Mm. I said to him, listen to me. You had no intention of getting me my visa yeah. in the first place. Anyway, because I said, I tell you what, you did that purposefully so you could then come now and tell me now that you're going to do a, um, what they call it, when they re, um, reapply. The appeal. Yeah, the appeal. Yeah. So you're going to tell me, oh, don't worry, Mr. Black, we're going to win it on the appeal. Mm, yeah. And that's what they normally do to get a double money yeah. out yeah. of you. Yeah. yeah. So when they come on the appeal now, it's a second money. That's five grand. Mm. And that's just for his fee. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah. yeah. And these people are just eating out people's money yeah, and like they just do what they do and you can't do anything. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm, mm. Yeah. But people don't understand no. what immigrants have to go through. When you've been in this situation, yeah, man. but I'm glad you came out on the good yeah. side. You but know, even, but even, even in the end, you know, when 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 the when the Windrush scandal broke, mm -hmm. you know, I was I was still iffy because because what was in my head mm -hmm. is that 
you can't apply for anything from here. No. Oh, even one, of the, one solicitor, <laughs> yeah. I went to him and I said, as soon as the Windrush thing broke, yeah. he had my file. So I went to him, I said, yo, I can get, you know, you can, you, I can apply it, yeah. um, to the Windrush scheme. He said, no, that doesn't apply to you. You're in the league. You, you are overstayed. That don't apply. Like, oh. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's, a, he's, a, he's a solicitor. I believe you, <laughs> Exactly. I because believe these it. people does it for, for, for money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And half the time, these people are not our people. No. You understand me, yeah? Mm. So, the, 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 and this is what I said to people all the time. You know, we as our black people, we need to have more solicitors. We need to have more, all of this in our community, yeah. more accountants. You understand? More doctors. Yeah, man. Yeah, more of these people because this is where we're falling apart because yeah. we haven't got these people on the inside. Yeah. Yeah, because if you look at any other countries, People coming in left, right, and center. Yeah, man. Yeah. They know. They know that they, they know the together. system, and, and they stick together. And they haven't got any issues getting the visa, getting yeah. married. People live there. They live with their husband and wife, and they still get full support from yeah. the benefit system. Yeah, yeah, yeah because what the English system doesn't recognize their marriage. Yeah, they're not asked. Their family recognize their marriage. That's all they ask yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And that's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. But then yet still, me and you who come from the Caribbean, mm. come here, our parents who work through the system, build up the country, do all that. Look what happened to you. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know what, right? I'm a joker first. I laugh all the way through. Yeah. yeah I mean, look at me. There were, there were bad days. Yeah, of course. There were bad days, yeah. you know what I mean? But I laugh all the way through yeah. it. Yeah, well, that's what makes it um, life is what it is today, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of that because yeah. it makes you who you are. Yeah. Because even, even when the windrows was finally, when I, when I thought, you know what? I'm going to try this windrows thing when I hear what to say. So I rung them, and two days later, they sent the application, application form, filled it in, sent it back. It's like, 24 hours later, they sent me to do a biometric. Yeah, I biometric. Didn't, I didn't know what a damn biometric I know. was. But, but, but to be right, you didn't need a biometric. You shouldn't have to. Yeah, because... I didn't know what it was anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so they said we have to go to Sheffield. Yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking, Sheffield. Then I look where the letter came from. It came from Liverpool. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I know that, you know, yeah, the, the, immigration thing. Yeah, yeah. So the day coming, I'm like, I ain't going nowhere, man. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, I, so I didn't go. Okay, it's because you thought the plane might be... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they, yeah they, they, had a, they had a flight waiting for me. Man. So, so I didn't go nowhere. So... <laughs> yeah, this, so, is, this is the next part people don't understand. When you're illegal, I say, yeah. yeah I the, the, when the, you have to go and sign on that, yeah. that detention centre, mm. it's not a normal thing. So, so, because, so I didn't go. Yeah. And I thought... And as the day goes on, it's like, no, that, this was your chance, man. You're missing a chance. This was your chance. Mm -hmm. So I phoned the number, mm -hmm. phoned that Windrush number again, mm -hmm. and they answered. Mm -hmm. No, no, I phoned it. The, the, they said if you couldn't make Make the appointment. Make the yeah. appointment. Yeah, yeah. You can reschedule. reschedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I phoned the number. Yeah. I want to phone the say, oh, um, Windrush, whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm like, right. It is connected. It is connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I explained to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said, no, no, you've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> I said, no, 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 you've got, you got nothing to worry about. I was scheduled. <laughs> I, 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 At this point, you're telling this, uh, you'd rather die before you go yeah. that way. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> said, oh, it's, nothing, it's nothing to worry about. Um, so they rescheduled me for two weeks later. Yeah. So got on the train, mm. got to Sheffield. And uh, I got a taxi. Mm -hmm. When the taxi pulled up, he says, Immigration Centre. <laughs> I, I got up the taxi. <laughs> I got out the taxi and thinking, This ain't no way. This don't look like anywhere this rude boy needs to be. And I just, I just bounced, man. Like a real Jamaica, that at all. So, I got back to the, I got back to the train station and I sat there. And I sat there and I'm thinking, mm. nah. So I walked back to the to the to the, to the immigration centre. Slow walk, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember the first time I got a taxi. Yeah. I need to think, man. Yeah, good. So, so, so I walked in, got there, and I just stopped. I'm gonna walk in. Man. Yeah, simple. So, yeah, so 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 I walked in, and you know all the immigration officers were there, and I'm thinking, yeah, mm -hmm. they're gonna grip me in a minute. Now. <laughs>
So, so, so I, told, I told him, I, go, I got an appointment for a, bi for a biometric. Yeah. And they showed me where to go. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking, yeah, they're waiting for me around. <laughs> 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 and I sat there. And I must have been sat there half an hour and nobody come to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're yeah. thinking all sorts in the yeah, 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 yeah. You know why I'm laughing so much, yeah? It's the same thing. When I'm coming to the UK, yeah? I've been through 11 immigrations, yeah? Yeah. 11 in Montego Bay and five... No, not sorry. Six in Montego Bay and five when I come to the UK, yeah? yeah? And this is what I said to myself. When they let me out, because they had me for like two, three hours, yeah? Yeah. So when they let me out now and I'm saying to myself, I'm coming out, I was at Eat Row. Yeah. Yeah. So when I came around the corner now, that little bend, and come round in the open now... Yeah. I, hear me to myself, someone is in the crowd, they're gonna grab me, you know, they're gonna grab me. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and then I came out through the crowd, got outside in the car park, and I'm still telling myself, yeah. you know what? And I got in the car park, you know, the barriers that go up. Yeah. yeah, I'm in the car now, trying to get out, and the barriers, <laughs> I'm like, the barriers ain't moving. I'm like, yo, they got me, you know. <laughs> Uh, and then I see the barrier went like that. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I, yeah, so eventually, eventually they call me. Mm -hmm. And you know, they all pass security doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, this is it, man. <laughs> You're not coming back <laughs> I out. Coming, I ain't coming back out. I ain't even looking where I'm going. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think I'm coming back out. Yeah. So but, I got in and like, yeah. Um, <laughs> they, you know, they did what they had to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> and even then, yeah. <laughs> when they're done, I'm saying, is that it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, yes, brother. I'm like, is that it? Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I come out now, and I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, yeah. They got, they got, they got to grip me as I try to get through that door. And when I come, honestly, I open the door. And I'm waiting for that. Yeah, the just that, just that tap. And, yeah, just, uh, somebody uh, calling you back when you go through the gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you know what I mean. Nah, <laughs> that never happened, man. Nah, you know what I mean. Nah, yeah. So. So, so move, moving to to where we are now, mm, mm, you know, mm, mm, mm. I'm trying to get a podcast going mm, mm, because mm. I want people to be aware of, mm, you know, mm. what's going on. Mm. Because I'm trying to get people to come and talk about their story. Yes. What happened to them, what you're going through. Mm, mm, but mm, blacks, I don't know anybody. Mm, 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 I don't so, know anybody. So anybody watch this thing. Mm, 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 yeah. If you know mm -hmm. anybody who's going through it, mm, mm, we're doing a podcast. Mm, 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 I'm set up a podcast. I want people to come and sit down with me yeah. and talk. Yeah. We can share the experience. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. I make people aware of what's going mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. That's it, that's it, that's it. So we're gonna do that, yeah. So um yeah. 